is Robbie, and this is actually my first YouTube video, and I'm super pumped and excited. Um, I've been love I've been loving developing these videos. Um, I really enjoy it. So let's dive right in. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be creating a race spec quadcopter. Now, this is a quadcopter that is going to have great cornering abilities, be able to just absolutely dominate on straightaways. Um, I'm really pushing to see if this can be a quadcopter that can be one of the fastest out there, if not better than all the rest out there at the moment. Now, the frame I'm using is actually a frame that I've designed myself. This is an RVZ 250 Mach 7. Um, I've had seven revisions of this little quadcopter. It's 250 millimeters arm to arm or motor to motor, and it has some really cool additions built into it. Now, everything that I've learned about FPV and quadcopter racing is built into this quadcopter. For example, um, this quadcopter is a unibody frame, and although on the production side it's not a cost effective way to create a quadcopter, um, it definitely pays back in the fact that it is super strong and that. It doesn't have many parts that you could possibly um, come loose in flight. Um, another thing is it's super rigid. This thing is extremely strong. And the next amazing feature that's built into this is that a lot of quadcopters lose a lot of efficiency on the arms because if you think about it, the propeller is spinning and it's producing thrust. Now, the area of the arm underneath the propeller is essentially wasted if it's just solid. So to overcome this and produce more, a little bit more thrust, uh, I have added to my quadcopter, I've actually hollowed out this area to create more thrust and not create wasted area under the prop. Now the next feature that I have built into this is the fact that it has a built-in um, protection for the flight controller. So your battery's gonna sit in the back here and there's two little small standoffs that come in into those holes right there. And what this does is if you actually have a crash and you dive into the ground, your battery doesn't slam into your flight controller and mess up any wiring or anything or even hurt the flight controller. It rather, um, those two standoffs right there actually protect your battery from slamming into everything else in front. So this is a great feature for anybody who's flying extremely fast because when you fly extremely fast, you are going to have crashes no matter what. And when you do, you don't want to have to go home ruin a whole fun day of flying just to fix your flight controller or something as small as that. Um, this is actually based on a QAV but it also has a lot of different features that I've just mentioned that I've really learned and I built everything that I've learned into this quadcopter. It has different bracket sizes for your motors so it can take 2206, 2204 I'm not sure you'd want to put anything lower than that on here um, but really this is a very customizable quad that I'm hoping is going to perform ex excellently with all the features I've designed into this. Now it comes with a top plate and then the bottom plate and the top plate obviously goes on the top of the quadcopter and for my build I've actually used a it's do a low pro kind of look so I'm using very short standoffs and I'm trying to fit everything underneath there just to make it more aerodynamic and to see if we can push it even faster. Now the bottom plate is actually going to go on the bottom and that's going to house all of our ESCs, most of our electronics and all of the wires so we don't have a big mess up top. So this is going to keep the build extremely clean and hopefully in a crash you're not going to pull wires out or anything like that. Now the ESC cover does actually have vented holes in it uh, which is nice to vent the ESCs and to keep them cool. Um, now when you're pushing your quadcopter to the max, you always want a pretty decent amount of airflow. So what these holes here have done is they've produced, they have given the ESCs a little bit more uh, cooling so that you can actually push your quadcopter that little bit more and get that faster lap time. Alrighty, so the components I've selected for this build are the components that I absolutely love. These are tried and tested components that I think are going to make this thing an absolute beast in the air. Um, and this includes a DYS SN20As. This is a 20 amp ESC, um, of course, running one shot, and um, this thing is going to be amazing. 
Now you notice that it's actually extremely small for the um, the amperage. I think this thing is going to live up to the hype. This thing is really small. Um, I can see the MOSFETs on here. There's six of them that I can see, probably even a little bit more. And I'm just super excited to put this on here. Unfortunately, this ESC does not have a built-in BEC. So I'm going to have to be running um, a 5 volt regulator or um, a different regulator just to produce 5 volts for my camera and for my flight controller. Um, so that's ESC wise, SN20As, absolutely amazing um, ESCs, cannot wait to use these. And I'm also going to be using uh, a Lumineer 4S 1300 milliamp battery, 60C. But I've also made sure that my quadcopter can fly on a 3S um, 1500 milliamp battery just in case I run out of 4S packs at the field. Motor wise, I'm going to be running a very special motor that I just received. It's a T Motor F40 2204 2300 kV motor. And this has a couple of amazing engineering feats built directly into it. So the first of which is that it has a new bearing technology in it and this bearing is super strong, installed really well and I'm super excited to use this. But the other thing that includes is a 4mm shaft that's stainless steel which means that thing is, this, this motor is super durable and it's not going to bend during a hard crash. So super excited to put this thing on my mini quad. Now propeller wise, I'm going to be using a gem fan 5x5x4.5 five by five, by five by bull nose propeller. For control wise, I'm going to be using a CC3D running beta flight and possibly even race flight. I'm going to be using a X4R FR Sky um, receiver and this has built-in telemetry which I'm super excited to use as well. Now for FPV I'm going to be using a 200 milliwatt TS5823 32 channel transmitter and then camera wise I'm going to be using a Foxier HS1177 that's NTSC 600 TV line IR block and has a 2.8 millimeter lens which means I'm going to be getting a decent field of view um, without having too much of a fisheye effect. Now the antennas I'm going to be using are Ivy Crazy 5.8 gigahertz um, air screws. I have one for each side, one on the quadcopter side and then one on the receiver side. So this thing is going to give me perfect clarity and lots of distance so I'm super excited. Now that we have all the parts and everything, let's get to building and see how it goes and throw this thing together. See you guys later.
build went together really well. Uh, I'm very happy with this quadcopter. The only minor issue I had was the fact that I was trying to make this quadcopter as light as possible, as compact as possible, and I was trying to make the top deck as low as possible to give it good aerodynamics and also to give it kind of a low pro look or a fast racer look. Everything on this quadcopter is very high quality, the motors, the ESCs, um, so this quadcopter is going to be a little bit more expensive than the average quad out there, but the performance of this thing is going to be out of this world. This thing is going to perform just as good, if not better, than some of the other quadcopters out there that the pros use. So I'm super excited to use this thing. Now, I would not suggest this to anybody who's getting into the hobby, um, because the price is a little bit more expensive, and this thing is just that one step higher in quality. But uh, for anybody else here in this hobby who is ready to take the next level up, um, to get a quad that's just that much better, I would definitely recommend this to them because this thing is going to be an absolute beast in the air. This is going to win races, and I doubt, I, doubt, I do not doubt that this thing may even come in first place. So I'm very happy with this. Um, super excited to fly this thing, actually. I cannot wait. I have a race coming up this weekend, and this is going to be the candidate that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be flying this thing. I'm going to see if I can push this thing to the limits, um, even though I, as a pilot, am probably the lim limiting factor on this quadcopter. I really want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm not into that kind of person who's all about, that li about the likes and the subscriptions, but I would really like you to post a comment below and tell me what I did right, and if there's something that I did wrong or that you didn't like, please put that down below because your feedback would really help me as a video production maker and it would really help to make the next videos even better so please 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 do just take a one second to go down to that comments box and just tell me what I could do better or what I did well at I'd really appreciate it and I think that brings the end to the build stay tuned for part two of this where I actually take this thing out to the field and just absolutely rip up some air I'm super excited and I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.